Good morning. You're watching FloridaLA.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. First day of the show here at Surfaces 2023, and I'm with Blake Dennard, the uh, Senior Vice President with Kayleen. Blake, how you doing? Doing real good, Kemp. Thanks for coming in. That's good to be with you always. What I would like to do is first talk about the show. You were just uh, telling me a minute ago how uh, you're, you're pretty excited about what's going on here, right? Absolutely. We're off to a great start uh, from the get-go. Right at 9 o'clock, the doors opened up, and people started barreling in. Uh, we're right in business, and uh, people are here to buy again, so it's great to see. Yeah, you were talking about the last few years you've been talking to your associates and not selling flooring, and now you're excited this is back. Yeah, we got to know all the reps really good during those <laughs> slow markets, uh, and, and as everybody knows, these things drag on forever when there aren't customers here, so it's great to see customers back here at, uh, at Surfaces. Uh, let's talk to, tell the listener just a little bit about the background. Most people know the Kayleen brand started as a, as a rug brand. You've got a space over at uh, World Market. And about seven years ago, after you came back to the company here, you started a Broadland program. And at that time, it was handmade. It was wool, a gorgeous products. They were affordable because they're all out of India. And then you've been adding on and adding on. So um, then you went to a hook and loop. I think you went to a, a machine-made wool Absolutely. product. Okay. Absolutely. And uh, so, so tell us, uh, give us an update on what's been going, going well, on. Well, you know, as you said, we started out with the handmade wools. That's where our bread and butter was uh, from starting in the rug industry years and years ago. Uh, we branched out eventually into our Pure Life line, which is all natural, 100%, no chemicals, no synthetics. Then we did our hook and beam division, which is all machine made, which was brand new for us, running jackered uh, loom products and uh, circular knit products. Uh, and then this year we're branching out into synthetics, which is behind me here, our indoor-outdoor line, Home and Porch, mm -hmm. which consists of 10 uh, indoor-outdoor PET polyester uh, UV-treated mildew-resistant product. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so you're going after the outdoor market now? Absolutely. It's a big, big market for us in the area rug business. We dipped our toe a little bit in it with a couple products in the running line uh, a couple years ago. Uh, but now we've decided to go to full board. We're at, we're doing 10 at this market, and I've got another 12 slated in for 2024. So uh, it'll be a big, big division for us uh, by the year 24. Now, you know, in that area, people kind of like their, their format. They want X and Y to be by their design. So how, how do you work that? Well, uh, you know, it, with, with uh, this product line, what we did is we didn't reinvent the wheel. We took some of our best-selling patterns and put the indoor outdoor colors into those. So we know those patterns sell. They sell every single day for us in, in the high end business. So we really have able, been able to take a, a, a product pattern we know sells. We use some colors from the field that we know move in the indoor outdoor category. And then we made it in a product that's soft to the touch, has a good feel for the consumer because there's so many coarse products uh, in the indoor-outdoor arena uh, from a, a lot of our competition that have a very plasticky feel. This doesn't have that. This feels like wool, it looks like wool, but yet it's, it's durable enough to go outdoors. So we're thinking we get a lot of outdoor business, but a lot of indoor business too, from parents that want to clean up easy, uh, easy to clean up under a dining room table or whatever it may be. Okay, all right. So um, your customer base, well, a minute ago I talked about the fact that your products are affordable, but uh, I mean, it goes into luxury homes. So as we've looked at a little bit of dip in what's going on with demand right now, your customers are still there, right? In, in the Broadloom side of our business, absolutely. We're, we're going full board. Um, we, we've seen double digit increases uh, with our Broadloom line since we started this. We've, saw, we've seen it in 2022. Again, uh, a lot different than what we see on the rug side. The rug side is a very, very big challenge right now. Um, we were down single digits, and I'm thrilled to death with that last year because there are a lot of people down double digits. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a struggling market. Um, fortunately, we've got the broad loom now, so we're able to fall back on that, and that's that's really where we're making our hay now. Okay. Now, you mentioned there's a line called Lux. Tell me about that. Okay, Lux, yeah. We took uh, some products from our hand-knotted division uh, on our rug side, and we're doing a program now called Lux where we have 30 SKUs in that line. Uh, we will either do a hand surging finish for custom sizes. We'll get to that, get that end user the product within 150 days, usually faster, which is very fast for a custom size hand knotted rug. But the other uh, application we have there is we'll put an action back and a cotton canvas on it so it can be installed wall to wall. 
uh, which is unheard of to have a knotted product that can be installed wall to wall. That's that that's a new creation totally for the marketplace. So Lux will have that capability. We'll, we're selling samples now. We're selling rugs now. Uh, we'll be servicing that product in April uh, from Dalton. Okay. You mentioned a uh, time frame that leads me to a question about supply chain. Uh, have you been catching up on that? Absolutely. That's getting much better. Containers are flowing much easier. We're not seeing those exorbitant container prices still. They haven't gotten back to where they were, yeah. but it's much better than where we were at the height of it. Uh, the availability of those containers are better now, so things are able to flow a little more smoothly. Once they get to a port here in the U.S., they, they're a little bit quicker to flow through. It's still a little bit delayed from where we used to be, but it's definitely flowing through a lot better than it was at the, at the height of it. Who drives the styling that you go with? I mean, where, where does that come from? We do a combination of things. I, I'm in the field all the time with the company, so I, I bring back a lot of ideas. And then uh, we have Prachi um, uh, that's working with us from a design standpoint and color standpoint, and she's a huge help for us, making sure we're getting the right color that are on trend today. She goes out and travels with me in the field about once a quarter, uh, and then we go to India together uh, about three times a year. Uh, to, to keep that process going like we're going in uh, three weeks uh, and we'll be finalizing our 2024 introductions at that time and starting to work on our 25 so you, you really got to stay on top of the curve and stay out in front of it or we'll be here at services working on product that won't show up for two years yeah. so so we try to stay out in front of it as best we can but Prachi's a huge help for us with that. All right, Blake, I'm glad to hear business is doing well. It's good to spend time with you. Again, been talking to Blake Dennard, the Senior Vice President with Kayleen, and you've been watching Kempar and Floridaily.net.